all right everyone how's it going this is YB trading and in this video I'm gonna talk about a stock scanner that I use almost every single day and it's completely free I cannot recommend it enough guys the site that I'm talking about is called I'm sure you know finviz.com this is the site I use guys this is 80% of my um, pre-market watch list is done on this website in this video guys I will go over a quick overview of what finviz is for those who don't know let's get into it so on the home page guys we have quite a few sections so first let's talk about this we've got Dow Nasdaq and S&P so all the main markets of US uh, how they did these are daily chart basically to give you an overview of the uh, daily chart now over here on this section guys right about here uh, a green list or gainers you can call it and over here we have the red list which are the losers now on this one guys we have sections they are not all the same setup they're not all the same so over here on the side as you can see the signal what was this GTS about well it was amongst the top gainers so over here we've got top gainers and then we have new highs and then we have overbought and so on and so forth as you can see unusual volume right about here so this section in itself guys is a great great section for you to actually explore right and then losers same way guys top losers uh, new lows oversold most volatile most active and things like that so uh, now before going into anywhere else let's just go into this these uh, stocks uh, what are the top gainers what do they look like so GTS massive gap as you can see on the daily YI looks very interesting SKYT looks good so if you hover over these stocks guys you can actually see the daily now let's say for example I like GME's daily right looks interesting what I can do is click on it so once you click on that this will bring you on this page a nice little overview of the daily chart right so if you need to do uh, for example um, a little bit of a technical analysis on it um, start drawing things you can take a snapshot of it or take this to your platform now under there guys we've got uh, your fundamental data and then you have your upgrades and downgrades and the slight news on it and then bottom at the bottom we have more news related to games uh, GameStop so um, I will select some of these as one of my watch lists depending on the daily so for example GME will be one of them and uh, uh, probably SKYT and as well as DVAX so uh, quite a few of these will be on my watch list as you can see that's how important it is the home page now the third section I want to talk about is here guys right this area here I just glance at it just to get an idea of what the markets done and which sort of sectors or industries have actually done well or uh, not done well for example right over here uh, consumer defensives are like quite red so I know that the whole sector is down uh, it was down yesterday and obviously utilities as well as you can see quite down um, the ones that did well yesterday was I think financials so you can get an idea of what the sector uh, whichever sector you want to watch or you are planning to watch uh, it can give you a really good idea there so if you want really uh, sort of more detail on this map itself um, you can either go to maps right over here right about here yep 
click on that and then it will give you more details and in this way you can actually see the list uh, in that area in that section of the page uh, what was good what was not so uh, this gives you a much better idea you can actually hone in on the selection on this guys uh, I don't go into it too much uh, all I need to look at is this little area here to get an idea of the uh, overall perspective of the market and industries alright so this is how I uh, watch home screen and how I actually use so basically what I do is I will look at this quickly like five ten seconds oh, okay get an idea of the daily of the market and then go through these especially the top uh, top half of it uh, I'll go through these and then select anything I like and maybe these um, and then quickly glance through this for like five ten seconds and the whole time it takes for me to go through with the home page is about uh, one minute so once I'm done here what I do is go straight to my screeners this is where your most of your time is going to be spent guys this is where 80 percent of my uh, watch list comes from this uh, this area here guys now first of all guys what I do is I go straight down here so a lot of me people if they're not used to it they miss this uh, one is descriptive there's an option for fundamental and technical and all what I do is I click on all guys because I want to have on one page all the options that I that I can choose now when I click on this guys this is pretty much all the variables you can change to get a nice little result on the watch list now first of all guys what I want to do is I want a stock that has done well yesterday so first of all I want to select a stock that is over two dollars the reason why I do this is anything under two dollars is uh, very illiquid um, it's just something I don't trade right? I like to trade something that has really good volume and if I want to get in and out I should not have any issues with that so over two dollars seems to be uh, okay for me uh, usually I'll keep it over three dollars but uh, the problem with that is sometimes you will miss out those uh, movers that has uh, two point uh, you know two point five two point sevens going into three dollars and then I want to see I want to go over here performance and then I want to select today up that's all I need today was up now on the second performance however I will put today plus five percent right today plus five percent right over here so what what this is telling us is that the result that we're getting here is based off of at least two dollars today was green and green five percent next I want to select stocks only guys all right stocks only under the industry so I want to I want to see results for the stocks and not ETFs right and then if we go here guys you can even select country for example you wanna you want stocks from USA or X USA excluding USA foreign Asia Europe anything over here you can select but I keep it at any because uh, I need to see everything because sometimes we will have those um, uh, ADRs that we wanna have on the list as well and then we are gonna go down here guys for me I will keep this change from the open to up and also current volume this is very very important for me guys current volume needs to be over 10 million now that we have these as uh, these variables selected we have some result guys as you can see only two pages alright guys so next I'm gonna go to volume I want to make sure this is sorted this list is sorted uh, with a volume being the highest so so it'll be like descending volume sort so as you can see guys the top is edu amc uh, tcat wish baba tal all of them are good names 
and they are they've done actually really good yesterday so for example TME yep nice close above DD is bounced up PDD as you can see done well yesterday now any of these you want to get more in detail you just click it just like we did in the home page uh, and you get the whole uh, daily chart and then the fundamentals and then the news so that's how we set up the scanners guys and now because you've done your work to create the scanner you don't want to lose it obviously so what we're going to do is we're going to save the screen here guys and then right over here guys the top one with the yellow background is the one that you're going to save right so we are going to create test 5% up and then we want to make sure we save it and as soon as you save it it's going to bring you to the new one that you created that's the same list as we had before so what I will do is I will go through the list here one by one and check the little chart so if any of those charts looks appealing to me like PDD I will just click on it and get more details on it and if I like the daily if I like everything else usually I don't consider um, this for day trading fundamentals I don't really care about that not too much on this uh, maybe news but uh, I barely check that uh, for this scanner so I'll leave everything off um, just looking at the daily that will make a deciding factor for me that that will be a deciding factor for me to whether or not to add this on my watch list so I will go through the whole list if there's more list I will go through until um, like 15 15 million or something like that 17 million um, I know I put over 10 million to search for but sometimes we might get something really good uh, on a daily on a daily chart under 20 million as well so that's why I keep it over 10 you can keep it over 5 if you want more search or keep it uh, over 20 but ideally I look at uh, a stock that has at least done 20 million so that's uh, my screener setup guys that's what I use if you really want the other if you really want to know about the other scanners that I use post in the comments I will uh, if you really want I can make a video about the screener that you're interested uh, or we can even uh, discuss the other scanner screeners on the live room if you want but uh, you can definitely post in the comments guys if you're really interested in other scanners and I can talk about it right so next uh, we talked about maps or we talked about uh, we didn't talk about groups but groups are where you uh, go dig deep into sectors and industries basically right so if you are watching something like uh, healthcare uh, you're going to hear healthcare oh okay yesterday didn't do that well uh, whereby energy and consumer cynical uh, well were the top leaders and uh, uh, this is out of one day's relative so you can go through this guys is uh, you know it depends on what, what sort of trading style or investor you are this might benefit you big time portfolio uh, this is great guys uh, I don't use it I really created this test portfolio that's just to show you guys um, what you normally do is uh, if you don't have a portfolio it will uh, it will bring you to something like this okay so if you haven't actually gone through the portfolio section it will bring you to something like this what I can do is start adding for example let's say clove buy uh, today's price uh, so today's date and I want to buy let's say 100 shares and it's gonna get today's price okay 892 okay I'll take that and then save right now before you save obviously you want to put your portfolio name and then save so as you can see I had AMC as a test uh, sort of portfolio and now added clove to it and then inside there is uh, something I don't go into too much detail uh, but if you want you can go and check that out and then futures forex and also cryptos alright guys that's finviz's overview hope you like the video and catch me in the live room if you do join up I stream every single day 9 915 EST 
and uh, if you have any questions you can ask me in the chat in the live chat also you can post in the comments below and I will be making more videos on the pre-market watch list and how, uh, how I do things my routine and things like that hopefully it's gonna benefit you guys stay tuned for those videos and subscribe to get notified alright guys take it easy stay safe